Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Big Drink, not the little one. Welcome back to Drink World. Hey, look, if you're watching this video and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button at 500 subscribers. We're giving away $100. It's going straight to one of the subscribers. No predetermined winners, no friends, no family. None of that shit is going to one of y'all. Thank y'all for the support and the love. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all giving me that love. I want to give it back to y'all. That's why we're doing the whole thing. You see, it's called reciprocation or something like that. Look that word up. I'm not too smart. Hopefully one of y'all is. Anyway, y'all know who Caribou is? I fuck with caribou y'all fuck with concrete hopefully y'all fuck with them enough like uh, separately because i don't think they're gonna be together no more i don't, I don't think they're together no more i'm sorry it's early i'm, I'm high anyway uh, uh caribou seems to have left concrete boys we're gonna get right into it shout out duty for the original video man shout out duty check his channel out it's gonna be in the description Anyway, looks like Caribou was either removed or left Concrete Boys. I don't know all the facts. That's why we're going to watch the video. Now, I think we should all know who Concrete is, okay? It's a label slash group that's owned by Lil Yachty. And I think you got about four or five artists that's a part of the group. If we not including Geo, she's not a rapper. But then you got Caribou, BC2 Trill, Draft Day, and I believe Camo too. And there may be a couple more I'm missing, but I'm not too deep in with Concrete, but that's what I know. And for the past year, Concrete have developed their own thing. If it ain't Opium or Cactus Jack, that's really the only group that's being talked about right now because from the outside looking in i feel like they developed a decent group you know it seemed like when they all together it's like a family anytime you see them together they cracking jokes everything is vibey they making decent music the last album i heard from them that was decent that's a fact. The they definitely seem like a family got going on where everybody rocking baggy clothes kind of got that vintage swag to them i like where they're taking things you feel me and i even feel like yadi did a good job by introducing them to us and throughout this year i think things that's been looking true, good the rollout or the introduction for all of the concrete members was really good let me just pause it for that i know that the the that the audio ducks behind me but sometimes i just like to pause it make sure that y'all can really hear me and shit you feel me um yeah no i, I do feel like the introduction was really good yadi's done a great job with the concrete boys uh as a whole and i'm kind of disappointed if this is the case if it seems like she's done there I'm not I'm not I'm not too happy about that. Let's let's start the video and get back into some of these facts, see what's going on. I mean, they dropped the whole tape together, but for some reason these past like two weeks have been weird. Just straight weird. Because I feel like I noticed a disconnection when it came to concrete. The same way they used to be together and go out to these events and stuff like that, or even just go on Kai stream and stuff. You know how they used to be all together and, and if you seen one person, you're gonna see the whole group. But lately it ain't been looking that way. And after yesterday, it's kind of been confirmed that somebody has been disconnected from the group because something don't seem right i mean i've been seeing caribou make tweets here and there or she will probably like retweet something kind of signifying that something is wrong you feel me y'all should already know this geo and caribou they've been close for a long time so it's just like when i don't be seeing them together it's kind of weird you know what i'm saying ain't nothing wrong with taking a break from each other but and the one person i've kind of noticed that hasn't been involved lately is caribou and yesterday that was kind of confirmed because i seen something where concrete boys they was performing at this whole fest and they had the whole Nike. Those jackets are super clean. I like that collab going on and the whole time everybody was asking you know where's caribou. So we're gonna go through these videos so I can show y'all what's going on because I'm confused a little myself. But and how y'all go pop out and not have caribou there? That's crazy work. Y'all can see everybody is there. They got the whole suits on and everything, but the only person that ain't there is caribou. And one of the comments that stood out the most that I've seen, right? It's a for those wondering where caribou is, she has been suspected of leaving slash removed from the group after unfollowing Yachty and being removed from the Concrete Boys Instagram bio. And as I scroll down even more, you had people asking, yo, where is caribou? Where is caribou? You got people even asking why she was kicked and all types of stuff because it's just like there were so many things happening before for this that was a you look at those comments one of them says they feel like it could be pr and that she's about to drop a tape or something i kind of do agree and if so this is drumming up just the exact amount of attention that they would want for it so it would make sense i agree definitely seems like it could be a pr stunt because it's very odd that they would go from such such high highs to low lows like that you know what i mean but I do be how it be though a little iffy Dick like pussy I, shit. Seen them together like i said right and then today we seen this with this whole performance and then i went to the ig right and i don't think they're lying about this whole thing because as i comment down below if you think caribou got good coochie very closely right it's a little yachty drive what? day camo and dc2 trail but you don't see caribou and you go to the followers they only follow him that's four crazy people. it's the same people caribou now on here though everybody from the group kind of doing this thing where they've been ignoring the whole situation so it's kind of weird but let's check 
check out caribou page and i'm scrolling through caribou page right as you can see she's not with concrete and it's a little weird because caribou started doing this thing she was reposting other people asking you know where is caribou and they were at geo got good cooch what it was literally people where showing up to the concert asking where caribou at shaking my head she showed a message somebody said girl where are you she probably trying to let us know with this that she upset or something you know she going through a lot and it's obvious too because to not show up to the biggest event that's going on for y'all right now why why wouldn't you show up your fans is there and not only People that noticing though so if it's a pr move like if it ain't lil yachty she's kind of the face of concrete boys and i went to her following y'all lil yachty actually doesn't pop up either it's confirmed that something is definitely going on like i said geo and caribou is very close and i have not been not confirmed that something's going on the only thing confirmed is that she didn't show up to the show she hasn't been around him recently and that she doesn't follow yadi and that they don't follow each other that doesn't necessarily mean something's going on not necessarily or at least it doesn't confirm it seeing it allude to it though kind of weird and nobody has spoken about it either so it's just making it even more weird <laughs> And who knows what it could have been. It could have been just a big argument or whatever. And things are completely fine. It's just that Caribou didn't show up for that. But when you remove somebody from the whole label page, that's crazy, all right? Like, something ain't right. Something is definitely going on behind scenes. And this might be something they definitely don't want to just leave in the dust. Like, they have to say something. You know what I'm saying? It may be a lot of y'all that don't like Caribou or something. Y'all don't feel like she can rap for real. But she does have fans. And we can't act like at the end of 2023, her run wasn't crazy. She was really just dropping back to back songs that people Mom really had a crazy run point, you can Lonely only think that yeah she either removed herself from the group or she was removed and the stuff that caribou been posting lately yeah she's definitely going through something like i actually went on twitter to see what's going on and see what people talking about caribou first thing i see caribou not concrete no more the next person happy that she didn't even purchase a ticket because caribou wasn't even there somebody said where was you at I mean, that's how it be imagine purchasing the ticket and the main thing that you wanted to see isn't even at the thing like that's like when people buy a ticket to these nba games and these people don't even play it's like damn I told y'all caribou been like retweeting weird things like she's going through something you know what i'm saying and it might not mean nothing but she was talking about deleting the app and then she made this tweet yesterday she said existing two out of ten would not recommend and somebody even replied said bro how you rich and still feel like this and then this was a couple days ago caribou had reposted something that say that one friendship breakup that changed your perspective on humanity and then even on the 22nd she said something like it don't matter what i'm going through i'm gonna still make a joke then she reposted something even two weeks ago she said for l means even on bad terms and if we go all the way back to july 5th she said i really irritate myself when i let people who not even thinking about me and don't give a f about me hurt my feelings so y'all go ahead and let me know how y'all feel about this whole scenario i'm hoping whatever it is they can come to a conclusion where caribou can still be in concrete i'm not sure what it was that happened but but i love y'all so much make sure y'all follow man that's crazy work i'm not even gonna lie Caribou, man, let me know what y'all, what do y'all think about this? Because with that, with that, with the recent, with the recent findings or, or the discoveries, whatever, what he's, what he's talked about here, her not popping up at the show, her not being around them recently, you know what I'm saying? A couple of different things seeming like she's been kind of speaking out on Instagram, other social media, trying to emote a bit, put people on to how she's been feeling without kind of giving like exact details. That definitely could allude to, you know, some, some negative turmoil or some turmoil, some negative feelings you know just some some shit going on behind the scenes you know i do agree with that it doesn't confirm anything but it definitely alludes to it and raises the suspicion of it you know what i mean it gives it gives that shadow uh, of a doubt or it gives that reasonable doubt that suspicion you know what i mean it adds it there so let me know what y'all think down below go ahead comment let me know do you think caribou is out of concrete or do you think they're just having a bit of a spat right now i know that her and yadi have to have like a super personal relationship from what i've seen like she was his um not his manager she was his assistant so for her to go from assistant to being a, a big part of the label a rapper you know she spoke on on um on those type of transgressions in that transition so i feel like that could be playing a role in this right now you know when you have um a friendship with somebody who's the owner of the label etc like it's a lot it's volatile it's, it, it's easy for that relationship to become volatile and when that relationship is in jeopardy then the music becomes in jeopardy so we, we might be seeing a bit of that right now. I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. At 500 subscribers, we're giving away that $100. We're getting real, real, real close. So make sure you are one of them. You're entered in. And it's easy as that.
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? As long as you're subscribed, you got those notifications turned on and you've dropped a comment, you're entered in. It's super, super easy. You know what I'm saying? When I pluck the name, I'm going to go look at your thing, look and see if you've commented. If you haven't, I'm going to the next name. So don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. Let's get it. Love y'all. See y'all in the next video, man.